Okay, so I've done the 30 degree timing to, uh, thing, set everything on the cap and rotor, and now I've brought it back to 36 degrees of timing, okay? And I want to see at 36 where it's sitting without using the timing light method or anything else. And you'll see that the rotor is sitting just to the left of the number one cylinder and that's where it should be sitting at the left angle because once the distributor or once the rotor advances with the mechanical advance it's going to move to the left so I understand now why you set it at the 30 degree 30 degree is where you're going to set it dead on nut center and then once you put everything together and then you check it at 36 it's going to be sitting slightly to the left so this is probably ready to go perfect but now I can check it with a timing light what I did was this cylinder this wire used to go across here so I just loosened it up off the loom so I can move it out of the way so I could check it with a timing light but that's a uh, number one cylinder um, at 36 degrees before top dead center and that's where the rotor is pointing and that's where about where it should be pointing would be my guess um, and we'll check it with a timing light method now and see how it looks but that's why they say to do it with a 30 degree method and then you can check it at 36 to see where it's sitting just left to the rotor so looks like I'm ready to go to the lake um, fires back up I'm not getting that back kick anymore and I'm really happy about that I broke a flywheel tooth um, and I broke three starters until I figured out about this phasing method and now I don't have any more kickback and I'm really happy and I'm ready to go to the lake so